I want to laugh thinking that your dream is the same as the one I was thinking of. I've been there. I've balanced across chucked up rock of road that has been shored up into piles. I've stolen bits of that ridge to use as headstones. I've climbed into second story windows of pre-broken glass and lurched around the giant abandoned facility just next to that gray coast. And did you and I share the same dream, sir? No, because mine isn't a dream, not even in a worldly attempt to hide the truth, a real to life place that I've trespassed over many times. I can only assume some glorious fact being held behind his words that link with my thoughts. Now, sir, you're lying to me, aren't you? You need me to spell it out onto you? I'll use something you brain-dead fucks can understand. Hypnosis. Commentaries, sacred objects, and reenactments known only to mystics that have suffered themselves. Grand your chances to bleed duds dry, but more importantly, the spreading of false tried truth behind past actions and future memory in the now. I don't care if this is a meeting place of worship and tribute down by the river, when the priest yells his creed in the house is mine, and it is most definitely not my face on his page. I, of course, have faith in my actions because I know those words like my hand I hold in my hand. How could he know? I may espouse gray-mattered innards quite frequently, in over-assed amounts, really, but those thoughts are pasted over so often that there's no way he could be reading them. So a connection is made, and as time passes, more links hook into other people's spoken lies over the mellowing of layers upon intersections of still more chains. And in your overcooked play posh, anyone offers you your dreams to you. Of course, the crowded idiots take it, follow it, love it, tribute everything to it with open heart like it was taught. Then, before the scam's climax, during the high crowd's cosmic procession towards total actuation of life, the tarot card gets a good turn and it all comes tumbling down. Money is gone before they ever walk through a doorway. Self-esteem is parried into self-saintly martyrdom. Good ideas are the catalyst to their crash. To put it simply, the ring around their finger was lost in a handshake against their will with the devil. And any time they see the ruler, they break apart all over again, having their faith manipulated against them. That word don't mean nothing to me, because as a person who makes memories alone, I never needed to pick up the word faith as a tool to be used. Fortunately, this baby's baptismal cries can't shout of the power of astrology, and trust can still be found in twirling lines. Trust isn't the same as faith, even though people often use those words somewhat interchangeably. Trust is based on a neutral proposition, hopefully. Faith is based on trusting what you already know to be. But the rule of thumb is, if you can imagine it, then someone else is already abusing it against you. Just another stolen memory. There isn't very much earth to it. And since I have no context granted through connections, every option is a great unknown. A solution? Um, what kind of bud leaves a trail of light? I don't know. But these guys are out here using sacrifices and nepotism for duties other than magicians and justices. Common words holding dual citizenship to the towns of oppression and trickery. Shit. That's what I'm doing out here too, stealing money through someone else's hand. I might as well. I hail ye ships of tarnish, for your strength is laid waste. The hand of hosts hath purposed it to stain the pride of all glory, and to bring into contempt all the milk churned of the world. I spit on the man's face. Why do I feel dedicated to the idea of crossing over the borderline that I spend all my life on, failing to moderate my moderation? And the thoughts of running keep returning to say, I have to. If I was in a worse state, I'd have said forced, but I'm fine. I do truly guess that's just the name of the game. Devotion, obligation to give ablation, because it is the very least you will do to ease the pain of having to personally know how it feels to hold that midnight vigil as punishment instead of truth. I guess I find it so easy to take their praise unjustly as my own. How do you remember a memory? A dream of the past, an artistic process whose reflection period changes with the waves of the days. You record it onto something else longer standing than your fallible human brain. And if the memory is private, then you hide something only certain participants would know 
Lest any fly walk by at any moment the spine is cracked. What all this comes back to is wanting to see behind a person's eyes into their inner sanctum at the cost of humanity. Because why would anyone ever trust anything before it has been delivered unto them on a plate? And afterwards, assuming they haven't been eaten wholly, there's a self-destruct button implanted in their chest and the boss wires it into whatever sense they want to trigger a quake with. You don't believe me? Son, the other day I said to a guy, you have a nice posture. You'd have thought I started a cataclysm. And if I had given him a hug out of pity, I'd have depressed the trigger and we'd both go up in a blast of light. That's right. You guys want money, I know, I know. And I know how wonderful it all could be if I just got back off my feet and built forward that soul of life. And I know you're just waiting for anything to be there in my pocket. Because then that can become your pocket. And once your pocket grows big enough, well, redemption, unification, revelations, and all that stuff that can be lied against a person with a ring around their neck. 